Today on our 2015 Acura TLX, we'll be taking a look at the Inno roof rack system. This is going to consist of the Inno Aero crossbars, part number INXB108-2, and the Inno flush feet for Aero crossbars, part number INXS200, and the custom fit kit for the flush feet, part number INK668. The Inno Aero crossbars are a low profile crossbar, which is going to have an aerodynamic design, which will reduce wind noise and drag. It's going to have the integrated T-slots at the top that will easily allow you to slide channel mounted carriers and accessories onto the bars. These will also work with clamp on accessories. The rubber strips in the top are going to help to keep out dirt and debris. It will also allow you to press down and slide in your channel mounted accessories without any trimming required. Any portion of this kit that touches your vehicle will have a rubber coating, which is going to help to prevent any scratches or abrasions from our crossbars onto our vehicle. Keep in mind that these bars have a 165 pound weight capacity, though you do want to check your vehicle's owner's manual to make sure it can withstand that much weight. The whole installation process is quick and easy. We'll show you how to do that now. Now here we have all of our parts laid out to begin our install. We've already got our foot pack here that's going to go onto our crossbar. All of the included tools that you'll need to secure our foot pack and our clamps to our vehicle. We've got our fit kit here, including our pad that's going to go on the bottom and the clamp. We've got this piece that is going to insert into our crossbar and our foot pack is going to secure to that. We've got our included keys. And then we have to provide our own flat tape measure of some sort. We're going to start our install by removing this bolt here, taking our clamp, placing it over the top, and reinserting our bolt just enough so that it holds our clamp into place. Then we'll flip our foot pack over and place on the rubber bottom. For our crossbar, we're going to take this bracket, we're going to fit it up underneath and slide this all the way in, pushing down on this button and sliding back. With all that in place, we're going to take our foot pack and we're going to set it so that this wedge inserts into this hole here. We're just going to pull that foot pack back until it secures into place. Then we'll take the larger of our two included tools and there's going to be a bolt down here. We're just going to use our tool and tighten that down. With that tightened down, we can open up our doors. So now we'll just make sure that our crossbar is sitting about even on each side, then we can take our measurements. Now for our placement measurement here at the back crossbar, we're going to measure from the inside of the door jam here to the center of the back clamp. Now you'll have all the measurements for this vehicle and your instructions. Now we'll start to tighten down our clamps. We'll use our included torque tool and we'll just start to tighten this down so that our clamp sits up against our door jam. Now we're going to go back and forth to each side, tightening it down evenly. We want to wait until we hear two clicks from our included tool. This is going to tell us that we have enough torque behind our bolt so we don't have to worry about that coming loose. Now we can grab our end caps and lock those into place. We'll place these on and take those included keys and lock them down. With those locked into place, we can grab any of our roof mount and accessories, load those up, and we're ready to hit the road. And that's going to be our completed look at the Inno Roof Rack Kit for our 2015 Acura TLX. Click the link below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com.